Church Lane, Hot Mix VA Radio. And we got a special guest in the building, man. One of our biggest sponsors is in the building. She's here with us again. She's been here before also to talk with you guys about what's going on at RCC, but she's here again to give you guys some good information. I'm here with Dr. Kennedy of RCC, President Dr. Kennedy, you know, of RCC. Um, she's here to talk to you guys, let you guys know what's going on. Get, um, if you don't know her, we're going to also get to know her a little bit, you know, find out, you know, uh, you know, what brought her here and how long she's been doing this and what she likes about it and all that good stuff too. But most importantly, what they got going on at Rapid Hanning. So, what's going on? How you been? I've been, been good. Been doing really well. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. I know you've been busy. You've been staying busy. Yes, and I'm, I'm very excited to be hopefully getting really more back to normal. Right, right. Most of the time I have been here has been during the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we are... Finishing up spring break this week, and we will be masks optional beginning on Monday. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So if y'all don't know, you know, um, Dr. Kennedy has been at RCC. How long have you been? Since July 2019, so coming up on three years. Okay, for three years she's been doing, you know, just, just holding down over there. So where are you originally from again? Buddy? I'm originally from Baltimore. Okay, Baltimore. Okay, okay. But that's not where I was before I got here. So right, right. right. So I was in Western North Carolina. For 26 years. Right, right, yeah. right. That's hey, that's so. So, what brought you to VA? You know, what what yeah. really brought you here? So, actually, we we, we moved for the for the job. Um, oh. This is you know something I've, I've always wanted to do, and I'd worked in community colleges for 19 years before I came here, okay. and at a university prior to that. So, but my my roots, my um, undergrad degrees in broadcasting, and I was a television reporter. So. Nice, nice. So you know a little bit about what's going on, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm all right with the mic. In yeah, my hand. she's not a stranger to this, everybody. <laughs> she's she's hip to this. So that's what's up. We appreciate you coming through. We appreciate everything you're doing at RCC and everything that you got going on. We definitely thank you here, at High Mix VA. You know, you guys have been a sponsor of ours since the beginning, and we appreciate everything you guys do. Oh, well, thank you. We're happy to do it. We're glad to to get the information out to your audience. Definitely, that's what we're here for. You know, folks, to get this info out there, and let you guys know what's going on at. Rapid Hannah Community College, they got a lot of things going on and she's going to let us know what's going on. So uh, tell us a little bit about, you know, these new programs, opportunities that they got going on this year. Yeah, so we really are, are looking at all of our options, trying to start things. Because um, we know in our area and all across the country, quite frankly, that there are positions open. Right. That right. There, are, there are jobs and I say now is the perfect time if you're in a job that you do not enjoy that is not getting you the wage that you would like to have. Yes, listen close, people. Yeah, yeah. The, there is so much, um, we say, ask us about free tuition. Right. Because we have so many opportunities right now. And, you know, you can get into actually as short as two days of training to get into a new career. Wow. So I'll tell you about that today. This, this is brand new. Um, we had our first class at 
uh, the end of February, and it's a uh, solar installation. Okay. So okay. you know, um, it, and this is if you you know if you like to be outside, it's outdoor job. Right. Right. Um, and you you want something kind of different. You learn how to install those solar panels. You see. As yeah, because the back. energy that's kind of yeah, and just so growing the, right Yeah, now. it really is. And you know, we were approached by actually Richmond County because um, okay. they have had lots of of applications for solar farms. So there is plenty of work in our area, and then the Commonwealth of Virginia is sort of incentivizing to build solar farms. Right, I've heard energy, about that also. Yeah, right. alternative energy. So expect this to be an, an industry that lasts yeah. for a while. But you know, so if you want to stay local, there's there's local opportunities for work. But then there, you know, you build a solar farm, you right? Know, you put it in, and then you move on to another. So another, yeah. So there's opportunity if you. Travel you like to travel and, and you want to go do you know do things. Um, so we are offering our next class March 26 and 27. Okay, March 26 and, and the 27. And All then right. April 9th and 10th. So they're weekend classes because they're taught by um, a professional in the industry. Okay. Um, that that teaches for us, and then we um, require you to get the OSHA 10 certification. Okay. That's just the yeah. safety piece. Yeah. Um, which can be done online. All right. So those are, um, you know, and there is, I like to say this because everybody's going to get the certification. There is no test. All right. No test. Complete like, the class. Oh. And, and then the, the, we're partnering with a group that brings the, they call it the mobile classroom, but it's actually the equipment and a solar panel. And so you, okay, learn, so you, you learn. work on it. All right. Um, and they, but so hands on. A lot of hands on. It's very hands on. Okay. Um, and they're, helping the students that complete connect with jobs. Right, because that's what matters. You know, a lot of these people uh, learn these things and what matters is if you able to get a job yeah, using it, you know. So, you know, uh, for them to have that follow up, you know, that's amazing too, you know. Yes. Because okay. energy is growing. Like, yeah. it's, you know. So we're excited about that. That's, um, you know, one of our, our we call short term credential courses. Right. And we have a bunch of those. Like in the middle of April, we have um, landscape management. That starts. Okay. It's about a month long, not a month full time. You know, right. Um, and there's a certification that comes with that. So, you know, to help up the level of pay, and, you know, so you learn more than you're not just hopping on the mower. And yeah, just doing regular you know, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. so, um, that's, a, that's a great program as well. And, and we have many like that. Um, we're, we're looking, I'll put it out there, we're, we've um, got a position posted. We need a CDL instructor. Okay, yeah. Hey, listen close. Let me repeat that. They need a CDL instructor. I know a lot of you guys out there that's, you know, got your CDLs or you know somebody that, you know, so, you know, just yep. listen up, man. RCC is looking for a CDL instructor. I just want to point that out yes. for you guys. Yeah, and that's... You know, yeah. If you have the the CDL, you gotta have the CDL license. Right. Um, we have a brand new truck, um, and okay, we're, okay. we're looking at purchasing another, um, so we can expand a, a little bit. So we do. You know, while we're here in Tappahannock, part of the driving training is at the old Tappahannock Airport. Okay. Um, so you will sometimes in Tappahannock. Might see the truck come by, right? And you can't miss it. It's got the Rappahannock Rappahan College yeah. logo. I've on, seen it on the side. I've seen it. Hey, so, that's that's I'll amazing. Have a moving billboard. There you go. That's amazing, actually, you know, to have, uh, you know, imagine looking up and seeing someone, you know, coming through, you know, practicing just to get their CDLs, you know, and that's amazing. Um, that's a lot of new opportunities that, you know, this year coming up. Yeah, you know? and, and we had that we and our instructor um, uh, left, so we haven't been able to offer those courses, and it's critical because it, pay attention when you're driving down the road. To see how many places you'll see CDL, CDL driving. hiring, looking, yes. yeah, all different types, class A, yeah. you know, just different types of jobs out there for you guys. And RCC can definitely get you started on your way about that. Uh, what about any? Uh, what about nursing uh, for the ladies? You know, if you, you know. Now men are great nurses too. Oh yeah, no, no, oh, hey, yeah. hey, props yes, to the guys right. out there. Hey, I can take nothing from y'all. That's right. Um, so yeah, we've got all forms of nursing. You can start in the the CNA, which is the Certified Nursing Assistant. And there are a gazillion jobs available. We're getting calls from um, the long-term care facilities, right. but hospitals as well. But then we have a path. So if you want to start there 
and then get into the LPM program, which is a licensed practical nurse. That's a one-year program. Okay. And then to the then you can bridge to the associate degree nursing, which is to get your RN. All right. All right. So there's lots of options, and again, anything in healthcare right now, anything in those skilled trades, just about it has extra help available. All right. So all there right. is a really good opportunity that you can take these things for free. That's hey, that's a good. That's a lot of good info, you know, because a lot of people worry about that, too. Uh, what about, you know, finance? Uh, is there any new, you know, programs? Finance yeah, absolutely. Also, so, so we have our regular financial aid, the traditional, you might know it as a Pell Grant. Okay. Mm -hmm, for students that are in credit programs, so degrees and some of the longer term certificates. Uh, and then we have what's called G3, which is a state program um, for the skilled trades, IT, and healthcare. Right. So it's those specific programs. So um, I know we're getting the G3 approval on solar installation this month. It's gone. Okay, the, okay. Um, That's good. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's, you know, we just say don't let, right now is not the time. If the first worry you have about education, getting going back and doing anything, right. is cost. This is not the time to worry about this that. This is not the time. It's, it's, it's opportunities out there, and the RCC definitely has that. Um, with the, you know, uh, like you say, the time, yeah. you know, that's important to a lot of people too, you know. Uh, uh, let the people know, like, you know, the options, you know, with the time, like the people's schedules are changed, especially with, you know, um, right. you know, uh, the pandemic and stuff. A lot of people are working, still working from home right. or, you we, know, things like that. And we had already had a, a pretty large percentage of our students that are fully online. That, of course, has grown. Okay, and, yeah. And people have gotten more comfortable doing that. And the pandemic has helped push us very quickly to improve. Right. Um, so we've got our faculty have done a phenomenal job and they continue to work to improve those um, online classes and some are strictly online so that's, we kind of call them any on, on your time, uh -huh. whenever, whenever works for you. Yeah. Uh, but then we have some where you can do Zoom um, as well. And, and that's important in our area because we serve, RCC serves uh, King George County to Gloucester County, right. to New Kent County. Yeah. So it, it, we understand for some folks that's that's far. Yeah. Um, and we do know people have transportation issues, I will say, especially here in, in this area. Bay Transit will pick you up right, at your right. house and will drop you off at the college. And our uh, college, the, the foundation has funds to cover the cost for you. Okay, so, so Bay Transit does travels the whole northern neck or just it's in the northern neck and middle peninsula okay all right hey. it, it actually even goes to new kent i'm i think the only county where you can't get bay transit that we serve is king george okay i did not know that yes yeah, so if you see those bay transit buses um but they they you don't have to get to a bus stop you call them and, and they can pick you up come pick you up right. drop you off at the college and then they will pick you back up and okay and it's it's really an amazing program because it's not expensive anyway, but we are also covering the cost Able to of help that. with that, you know. I mean, you can't beat that. They're able to help get a ride and uh, help get you, you know, to where you need to go. Because uh, a lot of people don't have, you know, ride, uh, especially with gas going up also. Yeah, that's a whole other That's a whole issue, other right? monster, right? So, yeah. definitely. So, you guys take advantage of those opportunities, those rides, and, you know, Bay Transit. Um, appreciate you guys. Shout out to you guys also. Um, Y'all guys got any events coming up at uh, Rappahannock? Or? Well, just really focusing on getting students enrolled. Right, right. Um, I do want to tell you a little bit about Essex High School. Okay, um, let's listen. So, Essex High School is our first high school that is offering a basic cybersecurity certificate right. through dual enrollment. Okay, uh, okay. And uh, Brenda, Brenda Anderson Diggs, and I hope I got that right, is um, the faculty member at Essex High School that's qualified to teach the college courses. Okay. And so that's going to be a great opportunity because that is a well paying job. That's cool, man. Uh, so so I, yeah, that, that is. We're yeah. looking at expanding that uh, to other to other high schools, but that is starting up at Essex. And that's this, this year? This, this, I believe it'll come this fall. We've gotten approval okay. for that. Uh, so we're really excited about that. And we now have what we call a high school navigator uh, with a presence in every high school. And um, we split some of the smaller high schools. So they cut, they're not there every day, but they're at one, a couple, right. two days a week. And I will say we, our high school navigator that was at uh, Essex, um, 
has moved back to where she was to look for that job posting as well. That would okay. be a bachelor's degree required. Right. But if you like working with young people, um, and our high school's navigators start with them in the ninth grade, and we help them do career searches and resume writing. So other things, even if they're not going to RCC, but really it helps those yeah, students, just skills. students just, just. who don't know what we have. Some people are afraid to come to the college. It can be intimidating. Right, right. And, but you got a person that helps you fill out the application, fill out scholarship applications. Yeah, guide you along, you know, yes. just help you out. Because a lot of people need that. Definitely. And it's especially, you know, in high school. So we, we feel like that program is getting a lot of folks, a lot of young people that otherwise would go out and get a job. And we know they're... And lots of places paying fifteen dollars an right, hour, but right. but I do challenge you to think beyond beyond that. Definitely, I mean, that. they definitely they might be thinking about doing it, but just saying have somebody give them that push. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, it's it's great to have somebody walk you through right, right, all the steps so you don't get overwhelmed. You know, and in high school now, they they have each each month they're working with students, so it's kind of like. And they have a student that's coming to RCC, they give them the, the list and they check in every month and go, did you do this, did you do this, did you need help? And then they're, they're set to go. Right, right. Hey, that's good. I mean, you got to, you know, start young. You got to start yes. young, right? Definitely. I'm glad to hear that Essex is involved in that also. I was going to ask you about, you know, something with the school, the high school, if there's any new programs going yeah. on. Uh, and one of the other things we have, which is really, it's, it's, Amazing, though this is grant funded, we were able to get a $1.5 million grant. And I, nice, We found out about that last, the end of July last year, so that was after after we chatted at the farmer's Yeah, program. yeah, I didn't get that, but, you know, it's all good. It's but all good. It, it's really to help build dual enrollment, and so at, at Essex, for example, we have one, uh, one high school teacher who needed some more credits in English to be able to teach the college dual enrollment English, and we're able to pay for her to get that through the grant. Okay. So okay. she'll have those credentials, um, the master's degree with the 18 credit hours in English, and so that will open up more opportunities at Essex. And we have several other um, counties and high schools, school divisions that are taking us up on that. Okay. So we're really hoping to give it because we understand, particularly small schools, it's it's hard enough to find teachers. It is. It but is. then to find teachers that have a master's degree to, in that discipline, which is what our, our is a requirement to teach those college transfer classes. Now, if you're, you know, we do welding with high school students right. and dual enrollment, and you, do, you don't have to have a master's degree for that. Right. You got to have the skill level and, and the patience. That, definitely, um, you but, do. But we've, we're really looking at all those options to, to, to give folks, um, not just your young people, so yeah. we, we serve, but, but really helping, so, because our, Post-secondary attainment, which means those that have actually graduated from college, have earned a credential, is still really low in the northern neck and middle peninsula. Okay, yeah. And we know we can do better. That's what we're here for. Definitely. I agree. Um, uh, that's what we're here for. We want you guys to know that RCC has a lot of programs, uh, a lot of opportunities, funding, um, time. Like you say, a lot of things don't take a lot of time, like you might think. Uh, there's options. Um you know, for people with schedules, just like she, she just you know dropped a lot of information on you guys. Um, what's what's the website? Uh, phone number that way That's if right. they need to. You know, and get and in I, touch. I watch it when our when our ad flips back here. <laughs> it's on there. I do know it by heart. I don't have to wait for the ad. <laughs> <laughs> phone number is and now there it is. Oh, there Eight, you can use it. 804-333-6730. and that goes. We have that. You don't have to call a separate campus. One number. Tell them what you need. Say, I don't have any idea what I want to do, but I want to do something. And say, you know, so I need to figure out what I might be interested in. What could right, be right. So we can start with that. That's true. Um, That's true. And then we have the, an email. You can, if you don't want to call, and I know lots of, sometimes you just don't want to call. Just want to call, right, right. But it's advisor. It's A-D-V-I-S-O-R at Rappahannock.edu. And then within 48 hours, hopefully within 24, you will get contacted response. back. Okay. And, and then you get a person, I tell you, you get your person who's going to uh, help, that's, help that's you through a, the whole process. A specific person, like yes. uh, somebody just for you, right? Yes, so right. you know, you come and say, I'm a, a college navigator, and you get assigned to me. You know, 
I'm your person that okay. to go for go anything. To. Okay. And, you know, when there's deeper financial aid questions, they'll say, let me, let's get you with this person. But you'll know right. why and what you're doing, and you won't have to. We do have, if we're, if we're not there, you get a phone directory. Yeah, but, yeah. But you don't have to guess at where you need to go. That's good. That's all that matters. You know, as long as people got it, they got it, they got a sense of direction. That's what a lot of people, need, you know. Because, like that's, I say, it can't be intimidating. It's, you know? it's somebody to hold your hand, and I don't mean that as, you know, like a child, but it's nice to have somebody to say, okay, here are the three things I need you to do. This is what you need to do, and by when, and we can get you moving. There you go. That's and it. we are registering, signing up for summer right now. Okay, yeah. so when is the summer uh, classes start? Summer right? starts, I think it's around, it's around a little after May 20th. Uh, okay. Graduation, we are doing... I'm excited. I've not yeah, uh, to do graduation this year. It's gonna. It, it's we're, we're gonna be. We're gonna do something different, and I'm very thankful to um, the Essex High School and the Essex County School Board to allow us to use their auditorium. Um, and we will be doing two nights so that we can give those graduates an op they can pick, um, and it'll be. So we'll do two graduation ceremonies, but that way they can bring a few more guests. And we live stream graduation now, so nice. it, you don't have to miss a thing. That's that's cool. Yeah, so we're, that's May twelfth and thirteenth, um, both of those seven p.m. And then we're doing a nursing, a pinning, and graduation ceremony as well at, at Essex High School. So nice, nice. I know they can't wait for that. It's been a while. You know? Yeah, and I, I, mean, I, I did the we did a drive through graduation yeah. ceremony last year, and that was fun and it was great. I got to see students, but I was still wearing a mask, yeah. not doing not. Shaking hands. Not saying congratulations, right? I mean, just, you know, I said it, but it, I don't. It, it, was, it just, it just won't the same, right? No, and I virtually conferred the degrees. So yeah. I get to do it and say, yes, go ahead right now. You all of you and turn your task. Right. And nothing like that feeling, man. It's, it's nothing like that. Well, you're going to get to do it this year, right? That's right. That's right. And we can't back. wait to see. I'm going to be out there. I'm going to check you out. Yes. So definitely. Um, well, what about the website, too, before we go? Yeah, rapahannock.edu. There you go, man. So. Y'all guys got the number, the email, the website, you got the info. You met President Kennedy. She came here to let you guys know what's going on. And we want you guys to use that information, man. Just keep a link with us. You know, Anybody want to give a shout out to before we get out of here? Well, I would just say thanks to our faculty and staff who have been amazing during this entire pandemic. Yeah, definitely. Thanks to the faculty and staff at Rappahannock Community College. Also, shout out to my girl, Bernie and Michelle, too. Yes. Man, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Bernie's artwork here in the studio it's amazing it's amazing man appreciate you bernie we thank you for that too but we appreciate you guys tuning in to us man here at hot mix va radio 201 church lane man we appreciate everybody tuning in definitely make sure y'all go download that free app live 365 search hot mix va radio email us at hot mix va one at gmail.com go to hot HotMixVA.net to check us out too. And make sure y'all find out what's going on at RCC, man. Keep a link with them and, you know, let them know how they can help you guys, you know, right? That's Absolutely. what you're here for, right? That is exactly what we're here for. Uh, but until the next time, or until the farmer's market, I'm see you at the farmer's market, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably before, sooner than that. Now that we're yeah. getting back. Yeah, we back outside. We back outside. But look, yeah, we're going to see y'all at the Farmer's Market, too, coming in April. Check us out live there, too, man, next month, every third Saturday. But we appreciate you guys, man. Until then, y'all be safe out there. It's your boy T. Harris, man. We out.